Summer 2006. Tourists are hanging out near the Moscow Kremlin. Not far from them is Putin. He approaches the boy, squats next to him, says something, and then he lifts up the kid's t-shirt and kisses his belly. Then immediately goes away. For several days none of the officials commented on the incident, until Putin himself tried to explain it. Очень серьезным. И в то же время ребенок всегда незащищенный и, и очень милый был. Мальчишка просто, вот я вам скажу по-честно, просто захотелось его так потискать, как котенка. Shortly afterwards, Alexander Litvinenko, a former FSB spy who fled Russia to Britain, wrote that Putin had kissed the boy because he was actually prone to pedophilia. And because of this, they say, at its time he did not become a spy, graduating from a specialized institution. Already in November 2006, Alexander Litvinenko died after polonium poisoning. The story that Putin suffers from pedophilia was soon forgotten. And after the incident with the kiss on the boy's belly, the owner of the Kremlin would kiss children in front of the cameras in different body parts many more times. <laughs> К высокому гостю тут же подбежала девочка с букетом роз. Владимир Путин поцеловал ее в ответ. Russian children, without exaggeration, were kissed by Putin. Just imagine, everyone who was born after 1999 saw him at the head of the country. And even when Dmitry Medvedev was Russia's president at the time, Putin was still with him as prime minister. And in four years he returned to the presidency. Every little Russian knows who their president is. His portrait hangs on the walls in schools, they speak about him at the classes, and then they glorify him. Every little Russian has to know what Putin looks like. For children with visual impairments, they even came up with a way to see the president. They made a cast of his face. Before the bunker, Putin would often meet with children. And as soon as he was among the children, everything was recorded on video. They don't just dream of shaking his hand, they believe his every word. They believe in the mythical greatness of the USSR and Russia is considered its successor. And now, after the Russian invasion in Ukraine, they want to support the invaders in every possible way. They stand in near schools in the shape of the Latin letter Z, shave this symbol on their heads, paint their faces. They are so convinced that their president is right, that they even report about adults who disagree with Putin's policies. It was a conversation between two 8th graders and a teacher. She tried to convince them that what Russia was doing was wrong. Instead, the children recorded the conversation and reported it to the police. The teacher was detained and now faces up 10 years in prison. Thus, children who are zombied by Putin and, like adults, hate Ukrainians. Moreover, they already hate the whole Western world and any civilization better than Vorkuta. According to recent research, more than 80% of adults support Putin's actions against Ukraine. What if such a study is carried out among children? Скажи туда Путину спасибо. Спасибо.